The days of headlines from their new Netflix series, Harry and Meghan, are again pushing the palace. This time asking for an official apology, claiming the royal family have apologised to other people, but not them. Let's bring in royal commentator and former palace press secretary, Diggy Arpita in London. Diggy, good morning to you, Australian time. This has all come about morning, after Christine. a separate racism scandal threatened to blow up. Can you give us the background here? Well, the racism scandal that blew up was uh, at a reception that the Queen Consort held at Buckingham Palace. And um, it was between Lady Susan Hussey, who was asking questions and hammering home questions, and the uh, director of uh, Sister, Sister Space um, uh, hedging her bets and not really answering them. And she felt that she had been bullied uh, and the questions had a racial overtone. Uh, there were witnesses there, and with the result that last Friday, the two ladies in question uh, sat down together at Buckingham Palace. Lady Susan apologised, and both of them asked now to be left alone to carry on their lives in private. Now, what Harry and Meghan are asking for is the allegation that they made in the Oprah interview in, in March last year, where uh, Meghan said that uh, the question of the baby's colour um, came up while she was pregnant. Five minutes later, Harry joined the interview and said the question of the baby's colour came up before they got married. So when did it come up? Did it come up? Are these allegations true? So if they're looking for an apology, they're not going to get one because Palace don't feel that there's anything to apologise for. But do you think they have a point? Do you think that there should be reconciliation talks that are held? Look, reconciliation talks are all very well. A lot of people are talking about reconciliation talks, but look what's happened over the two years. Harry and Meghan have rubbished the family. They've rubbished the, the United Kingdom. They've, they've labelled the people of the United Kingdom racists. They've had six hours on Netflix, which they've constant, continued to rubbish the family. family. Um, I don't see a reconciliation coming about as a result of all that. And not forgetting, we've got a book coming out on January the 10th. What's going to be in that remains to be seen. Is it going to be harder hitting? Because there certainly wasn't anything that the Palace need to be overly worried about in the Netflix series, but the book might be something different. You don't fork out as a publisher a lot of money uh, to have a, a very soft shoe shuffle in terms of a biography. So we've got to wait and for a couple of weeks for that to come out. After, after all of this, do you ever see a point where Harry and Meghan and the Palace will sit down and smoke the peace pipe? Right at this moment, no, I don't see it. Uh, there's got to be a lot of eating of humble pie. You know, people are saying, well, why don't the palace respond? Well, they're not going to respond. They're not going to contribute to the narrative as laid down by, uh, by, by the Sussexes, uh, because that is just fighting fire with fire, and, and nothing can be gained from that, because it's a case of he says, she says, she says, he says. So nothing's going to be gained from that. They're going to have to eat humble pie. They're going to have to come with cap in hand and they're the ones that are going to have to come forward because it's not just the palace, it's not just the institution, it's not just the family, but it's the people of the United Kingdom who opened their hearts to Meghan when she arrived, when they got married. Just think of those hundreds of thousands of people who were lining the route and were cheering them and then all of a sudden they decide they're not going to stay in the UK, they want to go and be financially independent. They were hammering the press, not only in Oprah, but also in the Netflix series. And yet everything they have done is open arms to welcome the press. So what is it that they actually want? I think the best thing they can do now is go away, get on with their philanthropic work, get on with their charitable work, and just keep quiet about everything else because there's nothing more to be said. Christine. What about the brothers, Dickie? I mean, you've watched their Netflix series, Harry and Meghan's. I've got through almost all of it. I'm nearly there. Do you think that the brothers will ever speak on friendly terms again? There's got to be a lot of uh, a, a, a big bridge to span that chasm. Uh, right now, there, there isn't a bridge b big enough. I remember when the kids were growing up, I, I saw them often at Kensington Palace with their mum. I saw them playing around and I saw them at school as well. And they were, they were good. They were, they were loving brothers. They relied on each other. William probably looked after Harry a lot more than Harry might have looked after William, but then he was the younger one. But there's been so much anger coming from across the Atlantic. There's been so much 
uh, innuendo. There's been so many insults. I mean, calling uh, in, in the last um, Netflix episode, uh, William screaming and shouting. Yes, there is a certain Windsor temper, but I don't see William screaming and shouting. And that's only Harry's word for it. Everything that we saw in Netflix and Oprah was according to them. It's their narrative. They are writing the script. They are keeping to the lines. Nothing is coming from here. Will there be uh, a reconciliation between the brothers? Only time will tell. I hope I live that long, Christine. <laughs> As you've mentioned, this isn't the end of it because we've still got Harry's book to come out, Spare. Do you think there are going to be many more revelations given we've just had this Netflix series? Are there going to be any more bombshells in that book, do you think, Dickie? It's an interesting question you put there, Christine, because when you looked at the trailers for the Netflix uh, episodes, they bore no resemblance to what was actually shown in those six hours. The book doesn't have any trailers, obviously, but no publisher is going to spend millions of dollars in something that is basically a fairy tale and doesn't contain anything. They want meat. Uh, there was talk after the, the late Queen's funeral that Harry was going to ask to rewrite certain passages. Uh, we don't know what those are. Uh, we probably will never know what those are, if indeed they were re re rewritten. We're just going to have to wait and see what comes out on January the 10th and hold on to our seats because I think this will be a lot more explosive than the Netflix series was, Christine. Oh, Dickie, your insights are always welcome. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Charles, did you watch the Harry and Meghan Netflix series? I watched series? the first two episodes, mm. and that was probably enough. I was going to get Dickie the box set for Christmas, but it's obviously <laughs> it's not going to go over so well at the Arbiter household, that's for sure. <laughs> I have to say, I'm nearly there. I've got two episodes to go, but it's just... Something to be endured, not enjoyed. Exactly.